Extravehicular activity, or EVA training in NASA's neutral buoyancy pool, is routine preparation for any International Space Station mission. But deep amongst the submerged modules, the task that ESA astronaut Luca Palmitano is preparing for will be anything but routine. He's learning to service the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, an instrument that was never designed to be repaired. The Dark Matter Hunter, AMS, has greatly helped scientists to understand the cosmos, so its mission has been extended. But some of its elements need changing, in particular, its degrading cooling system. During the training sessions in Houston, ground support and astronauts need to work together to find the best positions to access the AMS and work out which tools to use. AMS was not made to be repaired EVA. Whenever you have something that was not designed for EVA, you have to come up with very ingenious ideas of how to handle things, how to um, position yourself. Uh, you have to learn how to use new tools that uh, have never been used before. I certainly hope that we can do a good job and perform and repair AMS so that it can keep giving us the amazing science that it's been giving us for the past years. It will be Luca's second mission to the space station, and he's an experienced spacewalker. If it takes place during his stay, repairing the AMS will be the most difficult extravehicular activity since the repair of the Hubble Space Telescope. Inside the space station, he'll also be carrying out an intense schedule of experiments. A wide range of scientific disciplines will be covered, with Luca Palmitano acting as the eyes and ears of researchers on the ground and as an experimental subject himself. Every time a new expedition goes up, we perform many, many new experiments that have never been done before. But some of the experiments that are already on board the space station continue through uh, an expedition for years. So, at any time on the space station, we may have between 200 and 300 experiments. During the six-month stay, he'll also become the third ever European Space Station commander, a privileged position which brings with it many additional responsibilities. As a station commander, you are directly responsible for the success of the mission and the safety of your crew members and the space station. Now, in, in order to achieve success for the mission, the good thing is that I will be the commander of the most trained personnel in the world and of the world. So I don't need to babysit them, I don't need to give direction. I think that by example and just making sure that the ISS is a, a, a place where they can work at, their, at the best of their capabilities, we will achieve success. Named Beyond, Luca Palmitano's upcoming mission will continue human presence and research in low Earth orbit, while paving the way for space operations further into our solar system. Many of the tasks ahead will not be straightforward, but spaceflight is never routine, and new challenges are rewarding for both ESA and its astronauts. <laughs>